I am worried for Classroom of the Elite Season 3 from DHR. We have Season 3 coming up in January. The trailers have dropped and people are pretty hyped until we realize, remember how they treated Season 2? All that cut shit? What will happen if they fuck up Season 3 too? This guy's gonna talk about it. Let's see what he has to say. If you do not know, Season 3 of Classroom of the Elite is releasing quite soon. In fact, yep. Episode 1 had a special premiere as part of an event somewhere, I believe, and yet, Nobody recorded it somehow. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know. This brings me to the point. No leaks for us, I guess, but interest. Ah! Is that a big deal? Maybe? Point of this video. A lot of people dislike the anime adaptation of Classroom of the Elite. Why is that? The number one reason, to put it simply, is the anime is way too condensed. Season yeah. 2 of the anime had 13 episodes to cover five volumes of around 300 pages each. Five fucking volumes for 13 episodes, bro. And like when I watched season 2, because I am i didn't read the light novel itself, I didn't really understand the content that's being cut out. So as an anime only, I thought to myself, huh, it's like not terrible. I, I thought it's a pretty enjoyable anime, but the... The amount of details you guys are letting me know about the cut content makes me wish that, goddamn, they should have made this shit like two cores or just made it like a 24 episode season. Volumes of around 300 pages each. That is clearly not enough. I guess his favorite is K, huh? His favorite is K right here. Clearly not enough. If you look at the final episode of season two, it covers all of volume 7.5 in one episode. And really? It only covers about 10% of the novel, completely cutting the rest. And <laughs> Y'all remember this girl? Yeah, I remember this girl got cucked so fucking hard. I feel so bad. Completely cutting the rest. And while what that episode cut out was certainly more extreme than others, okay. it's still always been a big issue. I think the main reason this is not good comes down to the characters. When I look mm. at the anime, some characters seem so half baked or different than their mm. light novel counterpart. As I've said, is Katsuraki a fucking goat in the in the light novel? In the light novel, but I agree. When you have like. Light novels go into so much more details and it'll flesh out characters and it'll make a character that you really enjoy and it'll shine. But then the anime, if they like cut out a bunch of shit that made the character for what they are in the light novel, all these different cool moments that get cut out, I'll be really angry at myself too if I was a light novel enjoyer. Here's the thing though, ignorance is bliss to me because I don't know what the fuck I'm missing. So as an anime enjoyer, I'm just fucking consuming, not aware of what's going on. But it is really sad to hear that there's so much more potential of classroom with elites. Like, me as an anime enjoyer that didn't even know what's missing thought this shit was good already. But the fact that it could have been even better makes me fucking sad. Light novel counterpart. As I've said before, one of my favorite things in Classroom Elite is their character building. While the characters are not bad in the anime, some of them are far from what they could have been. Whoa, white room spoilers. I'm a Koji learning piano calligraphy skills right now. Who's this other kid? Far from what they Imagine he shows up in the anime. Don't fucking spoil me. Don't. Could have been. Also, lately, I've been streaming on Twitch, so check it out. Back to the Hashtag video. Ad. second main reason the anime falls behind is the lack of animation. This applies more to season two, as I think season one's animation was... Wait, I remember in season two, there was like a running scene. And there was uh, Manabu and Ayana Koji running. Was it awkward? I don't know. They were kind of just like bouncing. And it was like a still frame, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's actually not all that bad. The same could be said for season two, besides the outsourced episodes. Those episodes seem to have such a low budget compared to the mm. others. Now, there is some room. Or an anime like Classroom the Elite, where the focus is on the dialogue and the character interactions itself. Because it's a mind game anime, right? It's not really supposed to be like this battle shonen. Or to have crazy animation. So of all the anime projects, I would definitely understand why they would want to try to cut corners and try to save budget on the animation. Because again, you don't, like what, what you, you, when there's like a scene of Ayana Koji and Manabe talking, do you need the most crazy fucking ufotable Demon Slayer level of production budget to make it good? No. As long as there's enough time and the dialogue itself was executed with the right amount of voice acting and soundtrack, I think it's perfectly fine. But yeah, it still sucks though that... Like, it's not getting the animation that it deserves. Rumor season 3 will have better animation, and the trailer does make it look that way. However, Someone made a comment like that too. Season 3 trailer looked a lot more polished. Now, they could be doing this because it's a fucking trailer to kind of bait you guys to think that, oh, maybe there's hope after all, but from what I've seen so far, it looks pretty good. For the season 2 trailer also made it look that way. Exactly, so we, right? Trailers are kind of meant to just bait you like still that. Still not outsourced episodes. I'm praying season 3 is done better, but eh, we'll see. When you watch the anime after you've read the light novels, it feels like you're getting only half of what the story is. This and that's where I come out on top. I watch the anime, people get fucking upset. Where's the light novel content that's been cut out this fucking sucks and then you know what i do i go on youtube and i go classroom of the elite <laughs> cut light novel content <laughs> then i react to those on stream and then i fucking win regardless baby let's go affects the protagonist ayana koji as well he's one of the most complicated and complex characters i've ever seen in anime but the complexity of his character comes from the light novel side of things rather than the anime currently the light novel. do you guys actually think that ayana koji is not well developed in the anime like 
the light novel Anakoji versus anime Anakoji. They can't even be compared. Do I actually don't understand this character? Someone that's like so cold, ruthless, calculating. He's only at the school because he wants his freedom because of his entire life that's been dictated by his father to be the most optimal child ever for whatever world politic goals that he has. I don't know who came to the school because of his own ambitions, his, his idea of what freedom could be. He uses everyone as tools. He has no real sympathy or empathy for anybody. He just sees Suzune as a fucking tool. K also a tool. Even when he saved K, it was all cold and ruthlessly calculated. Now, because I've saved her after putting her in such a situation, she will never betray me again. This is this kind of character, right? So if you think about it, he's a fucking psychopath, right? He's a little bit more stoic in the anime. Hmm. If there's anyone that I wish we got more of, it's Koenji. I know that Light Novel probably doesn't cover Koenji as much either, but still, it's probably got to be more than the anime itself, right? Novel is the fourth best-selling and second best-selling of 2022. So That's why pretty did impressive. something so popular get brushed? Well, honestly, I'm not sure. You'd think due to its popularity, they'd try to adapt it a little better. That's what I think, too. Even, like, anime is like Berserk, right? Everybody shits on the CGI and stuff like that. You would think a legendary series like Berserk would get a good treatment. You would think that legendary anime series would get good treatments. Like, I don't know, really? But it doesn't happen now. This is probably all due to different combinations of many reasons that we have no idea of that goes on in the Japanese anime industry. Who really knows, man? You'd think it'd make more money that way, but... However, the simple fact is we know the anime was only made to be promotion for the light novel. And to be fair... That's the thing. Anime is not supposed to be like... Like, anime exists as an advertisement for the manga, the light novel, whatever the source material is. So... Their logic could be, hey, let's like cut down on the budget as much as possible. Let's make this shit cheap because we know that this is already such a big title. If we make a shitty job and we put really less effort into it, it'll still drive the sales for Classroom Elite because of the brand name. I think that's a very short-sighted thing to be doing. I think if you made it even better, more people would get their eyes on Classroom of the Elite light novels, but who knows what's going on? That marketing strategy worked. I only started reading the light novels because of the anime. That brings me to my last point. I watched all of season one before reading the novels and I fell in love with it. Meaning, mm. even if the anime is pretty mid compared to the light novel, I think the anime on its own actually stands its ground. Other than the animation at times. There's some really cool scenes of Ayana Koji that he's been using. I think this is light novel art. Stuff like this looks really hype. Other than the animation at times. I myself am still looking forward to season 3. And it's right around the corner, so be ready for some content on it. Also, just want to say thank you to my Patreon members. I love you all. But I'm gonna go. So, see you guys. Alright, guys. Like his videos if you did. If there was oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Not... This is my first anime video from DHR. But good to know the what's going on with the Classroom Elite. It does suck that again. Like, a show that's this good is not getting the, the treatment that it deserves, right? And... You could say that ignorance is bliss, because if I didn't know these diesels, maybe I wouldn't feel as bad. But still, it still sucks knowing that the full potential of Classroom the Elite will never be met. But you know what? It's fine, because we will cover, just like how we've done Eminence and Shadow in this channel, a shitload of cut content from the light novels. Be there for that.